Hello friends, welcome to our channel UG Mold Tech. Today we are going to see what are the basic elements of mold or basic parts or components of mold we have. Generally, we have these are the basic parts that we require to manufacture injection molding part. Okay. So firstly, there is a rotating wheel, top plate, this is a screw bush, cavity plate, port plate, guide pillar, guide bush, ejector pins, ejector plate, ejector back plate, bottom plate, okay, spacer, these are the basic elements we have to manufacture a mold, okay, these are very basic, these are the parts we have, so for those who have not uh, subscribed our channel, please subscribe to get latest videos and updates, so start, first, the locating ring, it is in the top of the mold, you can see, the top of the mold. This is also known as registering. Registering are located on the injection mold on the stationary platen. This is the stationary platen of the injection molding machine. This is the and this is the nozzle. Okay. Assuring that the nozzle on the molding machine, this is the molding machine, okay, will interface with the screw bush allowing the plastic to flow. This, this will interface with the screw bush, okay, that will allow the material to flow from screw bush to the cavity to get the desired product, okay. The dovetail ring is usually in the center of the mold and the material will is C45, normal for the normal puncture, hard lash will be around 30 to 44 HRC, okay. Now we go and see in the 3D, okay friends, this is the 3D of the mold, this is the register ring, okay. You can see here also you can see this is the registering we have this in the top of the mold. This is the registering which is bolted on the top plate of the mold. Okay. Hope you clear about what is registering. It is in the top of the mold and which is used to align with the molding machine with the mold. Okay, this is all about the registering or locating thing we have. Okay. The next we will move on to the next part, the top plate. Okay, as the name suggests, it will be in the top, top of the mold, which is used to align with the machine. Okay, this top plate is fixed with the bolt. Okay, with the molding machine, injection molding machine. The top plate is used to clamp the top half of the mold to the fixed half of the mold. This is the fixed half. It is a stationary. Other half is the move over. This is the move over from pole to the back plate. Okay. This is usually made up of my string. The locating ring is fixed on the top plate. Okay. The hardness will be 24 to 32 HRC for the normal normal. If you want any hard component that will be the other do hardness. Get the hardness, more hardness. Okay. Next we move on to the 3D. Yet here is the Top plate. Here is a top plate. Here will this proposal is going to be fixed. Okay. Other section also you can see is bolted. Right? Hope oh, it will be clear what is the top plate. It is the top plate of the mold. Okay. Hope it will be all clear. The molding machine uh, mold will be fixed like this. This is the fixed up. This is the moving half. Okay. The machine molders will come from here and it will be fixed to the bush. Hope it is all clear about the registering top plate. Okay. Next point we see. The next point is screw bush. Basically, this is the screw bush here. Okay. This is the screw bush. It will align with the machine nozzle from where the plastic material will flow from bush to the cavity to get the desired product shape, final shape. Okay, the screw bush is the connecting member between the machine nozzle and the mold face, and through which the material can travel on its way to the mold cavity or start of the runner system in the multi cavity system. Okay, this is the channel through which we will move. And the HRC of the screw bush will be 
to 42 to 54. Now we see in the 3D. So friend, you can see in the 3D, this is the sprubush. Okay, we go up to here. Okay. This is the sprubush. It goes. Okay, this is the channel dome content will flow. It will be 3 to 5 degree in taper. Okay, so the sprue can move easily. Are in the other section you can also see? Okay, it is clearly visible. The material will machine user will come here, it will reach the material, it will go from the screw, it will go to the runner and to the desired product. Okay, it will pick the product. Okay. Now it will be clear what is the screw push. Now we will move to another next component. So friends, the next component will be the cavity plate. The plate used to create a cavity by gap that will be filled with the plastic material and form the plastic component. The main final component will form in the cavity, okay? Cavity and the coat. We can say the female part will be the cavity and the coat part will be the male, okay? The cavity plate are shaped section of the either half of the mold tool which keep the plastic coated with final shape. The hot material will inject into the core and the cavity and thus set to hard to the shape. The hardness will be around 24 to 32 HRC. The hardness of this plate will be around 24 to 32. Basically, we use insert also, core insert and cavity insert. That HRC will be more 50 to 56 HRC. Okay. But now we are discussing only the basic feature of the mode. We will get deeper as we go along. Okay. Now we go to 3D. So friends, this is the cavity plate. Okay. From here to here, it is the cavity. Cavity plate, it is the cavity plate. You can see here the runner channel. Okay. The impression will come. Other section we can see. This is the cavity plate. Okay. The component will come here. Okay, the four inches. Okay, this is the cavity. This is the runner channel. Okay, so the material will come from here. Of course, and other uh, section we also it will be more clear. Okay, this is from here. The runner will be and will go to the cavity. Hope you are all clear about the cavity plate. Okay, next we move core plate. Basically the core plate projects into the cavity place and create the hollow portion in the plastic component. The mold core are the shape section half of the mold tool which give the plastic product its final shape. Already we will we discuss in the cavity also. The whole multimedia mul injected into the core and the cavity and then set to the hard shape. Okay. It is cool and final product is formed. The hardness will be Usually 20 to 30 to HRC. This is the core. You can see the core inside of it. Okay, this is the core. This is the fixed hand. Now we move into the moving arm. It will move. Okay, this is the moving arm. Now we go to the three. Three things. This is the core arm. Core arm of the mold. Okay. You can see core inserts. Okay, yeah, there is the cooling channel all. The cooling okay, this is the core. Another section we can see this is the core. The core plate. This is the core plate. The insert we use for our. This is the core half of the mold. Okay. It will be like this. Mold will be fixed like this. Okay. Okay. The mold will be fixed like this. The injection unit will come here. Okay. The part will come here. This will move this side. The moving side. 
so if this is clear so you all are clear about four plate now next you move on to the ejector plate okay this is the part of the ejector grid system this is the all ejector part this spacer block ejector plate ejector bracket and ejector pins are there okay this is also for an ejector grid ejector plate this also called as a push plate a plate that support an edge of the an ejector pin or a push back pin to eject the part from the mold it is ejected by ejector device of the molding machine and return to the original position when an edge of push back pin collide with the cavity plate during the mold clamping when the mold closed the hrc will be between 48 to 50 okay this is this is the ejector Okay. okay okay now we go to the 3d friends you can see this is the our ejector plate okay all the pins are being attached here okay on the on the back side back side this is the ejector plate the next will be ejector back plate now we will discuss the ejector plate okay this is the section also Okay, ejector plate. This is a ejector plate. Okay, it is bolted from the back. Okay. So you are all clear about what is ejector plate. Okay, now we discuss ejector back plate. Then okay. ejector back plate, the plate that supports the edge of an ejector pin or a push back pin to eject part from the mold it is ejected by ejector device of a molding machine okay here the one rod will come it will push here it will push here okay and this part will eject with the help of ejector pin the hrc this is a ejector back plate this will see in the grid also the hrc will be 48 to 58 now we go to the uh, 3d right this is the Ejector black plate we have okay. Both the space and this is the ejector black plate. Hold the hold the ejector plate. Okay. Okay, this is the ejector back plate. Other view also you can see here it is ejector back plate. It is holding the ejector plate. Okay, these are the ejector pin. Okay, this is the all ejector grid. This is all known as ejector grid. Okay. So oh, it is clear. Now we go to the the next is our ejector pin. The ejector pin are the bouncer of the injection mold lever. They apply a force to the part from the mold. Okay, they eject the part from the mold. Okay, they are they used to eject the part from the mold. Okay. They apply a force to eject a part from the mold and some case can leave a mark because it is pushing directly to the part it can leave some mark okay so we design like that it will be very less minimal visible marks okay our goal should be design and position to be at the minimum marks okay the hardness will be 50 to 56 hrc at it eject okay the part now we see in the 3d so friends you can see here are the all ejector pins these are all ejector pins okay that eject the part out from the mode okay you can see this this is the part that will be eject okay these are the all the ejector pins we have you see here the different view you can see here okay here you can see on the ejector pins okay this is the ejector pin which we get out the components okay In the other view also you can see this view also it is the here on the ejector pin which we get out the parts okay okay you can see this one okay 
you are told here about what is ejector pin okay these are all the ejector pin we have okay these are all our ejector pins these all are our ejector pins hope oh, now it is clear what are ejector pins now we will move to our next part so friends the next part will be spacer block actually they are mounted between the ejector system and so mounted between the movable clamp plate and the movable cavity plate to give space and allow the ejector plate to move when using the part okay they they provide the space okay this two spacer this spacer this two spacer when the part eject it provide the space and support the mount okay now we go and see in the 3d so friends you can see here the spacer block both the side you can see the spacer block it support the ejector system okay because the spacer block here Okay, this is the spacer block. This is the spacer block here. Hope it is clear what is spacer block. Now we move to our next token. This is the last part of the our mode. This is the bottom plate. This is the bottom plate. This is the bottom plate. It is fixed on the moving half of the machine platter and it is clamped. Okay. The bottom plate used to clamp the bottom half of the mold to the moving half of the molding machine and use the Made of metal, and the HRC will be around 24 to 32. This this is all about the mold components we have. One more we have left right here the guide pillar and guide bush, which is used to align the our mold. It provide alignment to our mold. We can discuss all the other components in the next video. Thank you all watching my video. Have a nice day. Please subscribe my channel to get latest updates and videos. Thank you.